Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back for another video. In today's adventure, we are on a rock hunting rescue mission. We're back at the river where we recently scouted to see if it was a good spot for rock hunting. And on that adventure, we found a giant mystery rock or fossil. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I've come back to get it. I'm really excited. Let's go see if it's still here and uh, see if we can get it out of here. So, as I make my way down the riverbank to see if this is still here, I want you guys to know it is absolutely a beautiful day here. The temperature is perfect. It's like 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It's perfect. And the leaves are starting to change up here on the North Shore of Minnesota. It's so beautiful. And I also want you guys to know that I thought about a lot of different ways how to get this out of here. I've actually lost sleep over it. I thought, do I use my dolly? Checked it. Two permanent flat tires. Not going to work. Thought about using an old stroller that we have. How's it going to roll out of here? Even thought about using our fancy hiking backpack, but I think that the weight of this mystery rock, it might exceed the limits, so I don't want to risk breaking that. So I am just going to use what God gave me, my stocky brute strength. Let's head up the river, see if we can find this thing. I think I see it. I think it's right there. I hope that's it. I can't imagine somebody else would take it. That'd be weird, huh? That's not it. Must be further up. I also want to say too, I have no idea what this is because in real life, right now, as I'm filming this, that adventure hasn't even been uh, uploaded yet. Uh, it's going up in a few days, so I haven't seen what you guys think it might be and that happened very recently so i haven't even had time to do any research to see what it might be so the second half of this video after getting at home is going to be doing research seeing what it is and we're going to weigh it we're going to see how heavy it is and we're going to look at some of the comments you guys made on that video it's going to be a different video it's going to be fun so i think i'm getting close to where i think it is so let's hop back down to the river see if we're close there it is <laughs> Let's go check it out. Oh, yes, I'm glad it's still here. There it is. The big mystery rock. Their fossil. <laughs> it is so big. Yeah, we are gonna have fun because I know on this side of the river, there's a trail out of here. And on this side of the river, there is not. It's just straight up woods. So I gotta get it up this bank and through the woods so let's uh let's figure that out So right there when I was picking that up for the very first time, I thought in my head, this is probably 65, 75, maybe 80 pounds. Well, you know how the story goes, I brought it home. And just to show you how heavy that actually was, I have a scale in the mystery rock or fossil. Let's weigh it. Yep, here it is. We'll get the scale ready. Pop it on. One hundred and twenty-two pounds. <laughs> now, when I brought this home, I already knew it weighed one hundred and twenty-two pounds because I weighed it when I got home. Because I thought I gotta know how much this weighs. Weighed it in front of you, one hundred and twenty-two pounds. This thing is huge. But let's get back to the rescue mission. I've gone 15 feet. This is gonna be brutal. This is where I get to walk through with it for about, uh, I'd say probably one, 200 yards. It's not that bad, but it's a lot heavier than I thought when I picked it up. So 
Wish me luck. So I want to point out that during that rescue mission, every time that that scene changed, I had to set this giant mystery rock or fossil down and pick it back up. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's 122 pounds. It's super heavy. And I'm not bringing all this up to brag or anything like that, but what I am doing is putting little video clips in this video of me picking that up to flirt with my wife. Now as easy as it was to haul that big beast out of the river through the woods and up a hill, it did not come without consequences. Dropped my camera a couple times. Which ended up messing with my audio and ruining a couple clips. I also dropped it at one point and it rolled about 20 feet down the hill. And as you all can probably guess, I had a backache for a few days. So in the original video of us finding this giant beast, I asked you guys, leave a comment, let me know what you think it is. And then when we make this video, I would show your comments and what you guys think it is in this video. But you guys left so many amazing comments, there's too many to go through. So I'm gonna pick the top five comments. That means the top five that people hit like on your comment, and we're gonna go over what those guesses are. But I want you to know while you were watching and leaving your comments, I was doing my research and I looked up a ton of stuff. I lost a lot of sleep over this and I actually reached out to the Science Museum of Minnesota and let them know, hey, I have this giant mystery thing. I need help with an ID. They got me in touch with their paleontologist and I sent some information over to them about where I found it, how much it weighs, and I sent a bunch of pictures over and you know what? I got a response and a positive ID. And it's actually what I kind of thought it was too. But I want you to know of all the comments that you guys left, only one person guessed what I thought it was and what the paleontologist told me that they think it is too. But let's look at the top five comments and then we'll do the big reveal and take a close look at it. All right, so I pulled up the comments and I sorted it to the top comments. And the top one is from NK Red. They said, love Agadad Fridays. I think that fossil may be some kind of fossilized coral. I have gone fossil hunting so many times in Lilydale Park here in the cities. It looks porous enough to be fossilized coral. Thanks for the best way to start your Friday. That is a really nice comment. Thank you so much for leaving that. The next one is from Carl Carlson. Looks like coral to me. I live on a tropical island and basically all rocks here look like that. Thanks for the awesome video. All right, the next comment is from Jennifer Tacbus. Hey Logan, but their comment says, Scoopy's next. Ha ha, ruby roo. <laughs> Logan laughed hysterically at the slow-mo B bit and made me play it seven times. Laugh out loud. Logan thinks the mystery fossil could be brain coral. Awesome guess, you guys. Thanks for the comment. This one's from Nate Kramer. I'm from Michigan and that looks similar to some of our fossilized corals. I have to wonder on how that made its way up there. And the last top comment that was a guess was from Minnesota Picker. Awesome sight. Lots of strange stuff. Strange stuff is a good thing. I say it's a good one to go back. My best guess would be coral of some description. I actually found some rocks kind of like the one at 224 just today down by the creek. I left them, but now I'm curious to see what they are. I'm gonna go get them tomorrow. <laughs> awesome. I actually thought it was coral too for the longest time, but after doing a lot of research, I actually found a picture of something that looked exactly like it. And then at the same time, I got the email back from the paleontologist that let me know what they thought it was. Let's look at that right now. Dear Taylor, looks to be the remains of a stromatolite. These are fossils made by bacteria a long, long time ago, laying down in layers in the mud. This one looks like it's been tumbled around a good bit, either by the river or back during glaciation, or both. Still, there are points where you can see some of the central cores of multiple colonies that are effectively merged into a larger one. They're a bit more common up on the coast of Lake Superior, but just based on proximity, I guess this is from the old ones going back nearly 2 billion years. Alternatively, it could be a younger one left there by the glaciers in the last ice age, which are more around 500 to 400 million years old. Hope this helps. 
It sure does. So like I said, I did a ton of research on this and I found one picture that made me think it has to be a stromatolite. And I also want to show the picture of the person who got it right from the comment section that they guessed a stromatolite too. Good job, Dennis. So as we take a closer look at this big stromatolite, I want to quickly say a huge thank you to Dr. Hastings and the Science Museum of Minnesota for helping us out, helping us figure out what this is. And I also want to thank all of you for leaving your amazing comments. And I want to be super clear and let you all know that this in no way was about being right or wrong. It's about the process of figuring it out. I thought it was a coral too. I even leaned towards limestone. But after looking at pictures of both, I just wasn't convinced. And I want to show you why. I know I showed you that picture before, but some of the stuff in this really leaned me towards thinking stromatolite. Let's take a close look. Now I also want you guys to know I'm not an expert. I'm going off pictures and I'm going off of some of the information that was shared with me as well. Like some of these circular like patterns in this rock. These are those colonies that were formed, uh, if I can remember right, in the mud. So as you can see, I saw all these circle patterns all over this thing. There's one there see one right here they're really all over it there's one up here as well and like I said I thought it was coral a couple people said coral head and it's just not what I've seen from coral and again you know maybe maybe it isn't just stromatolite but we're giving it our best guess here and one of the things that threw me off too when I started thinking stromatolite is I was thinking Mary Ellen Jasper because that is very rich in color and this is very beat up and worn. It's just, it's got a lot of, <laughs> a lot of broken up details. It's taken a beating. It's, I mean, we found it on a river. So it's definitely gone through the elements. And one thing that I think would be really fun, <laughs> somehow cut this thing in half and see what's going on on the inside. Cause if you've ever seen cut stromatolite, it's really beautiful, but I don't have a saw this big. Pretty excited to, have a you know pretty solid ID with stromatolite. Very worn, very beat up, very big, and very cool. So now that we figured out what it most likely is, now is the hard part. Where do we put it? Just kidding. <laughs> I would never do that. Just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this 122 pound stromatolite. I'll probably throw it in my landscaping rocks or something like that. But thank you guys for all your comments in the last video. It definitely helped steer me in some good directions during the research process. I also want you to know too, if you don't agree that it's a stromatolite, leave a comment below. Let me know why you don't think it is one. Again, this isn't about being right or wrong. It's just about gaining knowledge and trying to figure out all the things that we find and what they are. So thank you for watching. Bye.